Finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm using mostly BH Cosmetics products. This is a very interesting video. I had a lot of mishaps along the way, but I have to say I'm really happy. Love this eyeshadow. It's super, super easy, just a little bit time consuming, but I promise you anyone can do it. Show your support for my channel by clicking that subscribe button and also click that bell button right next to it. This way you get a notification every time a new video is going live on my YouTube channel. I do a lot of drugstore. I do a lot of high-end Sephora, a lot of reviews, a lot of favorites. So if that is something that you're interested in, you just love beauty and skincare and everything in between, then do be sure to subscribe and click the bell button. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my mostly BH Cosmetics full face makeup routine. Milk makeup. I think this is their green matcha toner. It looks like this. And I'm just going to press this into the skin, focusing on the areas of my face that really need that extra layer of hydration. Anywhere that I apply highlighter, I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead. I'm just like feeling very, very dry lately. I'm going to push it in with my fingers. Then I'm going to hop in with some serum. I've been using the Exuviance. I think that's how you say it. This is their Collagen Triple Boost Serum. Helps with anti-aging, helps with firmness. I don't love, love, love the formula. This has a very gel-like consistency, and I like a little bit of a runnier serum, but I did buy this. It was pretty expensive. I think it was like 60 or 70 bucks, so I'm definitely going to be using it. Two pumps of this. Bring it down the neck. I'm gonna let that settle, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some eye cream on. This is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. A few of you had asked me to keep you posted on this Gold Fade In MD Bright Eyes Cream to help with dark circles. Um, I have been using that every day, twice a day, but when I do my makeup, I really like the Belief Moisture Eye Balm, so stay tuned for this one. I'm gonna do a full review. I have been using this eye cream for, I wanna say, a little over a month now. I don't like that eye cream for makeup, which you're gonna hear all about it in that video. So that is why we're using the Belief Moisture Eye Balm. NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper for some lip hydration. I did do a foundation wear test a while ago and I really do not like the foundation that I have, which is the BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. Not the biggest fan of this. However, I'm going to incorporate it today. So, you know, I'm playing fair here, but I'm also cheating just a little bit. So I'm going to be mixing this with the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. This has been my go-to foundation the entire summer. So I'm hoping if I mix the two, we'll come out with like a nice finished product. A pump of the L'Oreal, which is pretty runny. And I'm just gonna take like a little pump of the BH Cosmetics just to say we did it. And I'm gonna mix that on the back of my hand. Apply this all over the skin. I just bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills, her new liquid foundation. Oh my God, I'm so excited to use it. I'm gonna do a full day wear test with you guys, so stay tuned for that. Make sure the bell is rung so you get a notification when that goes up. I'm gonna take this Eco Tool sponge, one of my favorite sponges. I'm gonna take what's ever left on the back of my hands and I'm just gonna pounce this into the face. Sponge is damp, it is not wet, not dry. Let's take one more pump of the L'Oreal because I'm not happy with the BH Cosmetics. I wish I would have never mixed it in. It just like clings to everything on my skin. Like any kind of dry patch I have. You know what? No, I'm not doing this. I'm taking this off. Oh, can I save it? I could probably save it. All right, let's try and save it. And then if it's a fail, we'll just wipe it off. I'm going to take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and pray to Jesus up above that this works. Hopefully make it a little less cakey because it looks like I'm wearing a ton of makeup right now. Ugh, I'm never using this foundation again. No offense, if any of you like it, I'm sorry. You are allowed to like whatever you like. Um, I just, I don't like it. But I promise all the other VH Cosmetics products that I have are pretty good. The concealer that I'm using today, I haven't tried yet though, so. I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna pull through in the end. Oh, now I'm sweating. BH Studio Pro Shade and Define Duo Brow Pencil, and I'm in the shade Brunette. So one side, it has the super skinny brow pencil, and then the other side, it has that more like triangle one. So it's as if the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the two versions in one. It's amazing. The only thing is that it doesn't have a spoolie, so I'm going to be using this spoolie 
that I bought on Amazon. You can find them dirt cheap or you can use a spoolie from one of your other brow pencils. But I'm just gonna brush the brows up, the skinnier end. I'm gonna start with the under brow and I'm just doing hair like strokes. I don't think I'm gonna go too heavy on the brows today. I feel like I say that all the time though and then it's like caterpillars on. Oh, hello. There's no spoolie on this. Okay, I'm gonna brush them down. I just flipped it like there was a spoolie up top. And now I'm gonna draw the top in. Again, hair like strokes. I'm just going really lightly. To me, that's like a modest brow. Now I'm gonna go to the front portion of the brow. I'm gonna take the triangle side and I'm going to take the point of the triangle and put it towards my nose and flick up. Then I'm gonna go over the rest of it. I feel like this disperses the product a little bit less than the pointier side, but I will say like this is annoying. This happens to me all the time with this pencil. The inside, like the actual product slips out just on the skinny side and I do find that really annoying. But I feel like the triangle side, like I was saying, disperses the product a little bit more evenly. Brush through the brow one last time. First impression, the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer and I am in the shade, what, 104? I think that's my shade. It has this funky little applicator that really reminds me of the Huda Beauty concealer. Take that between my two ring fingers and I'm just gonna apply this above the lid. Ooh, wow girl, that's bright, okay. Ooh, it feels like thick though. I feel like there is some gonna be some good coverage with this. It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush. I'm gonna take the smaller concealer side and I'm just gonna run this all over the lid being a little careful of the brows and making sure I get that inner corner because that is where I get some discoloration. This concealer looks a little clumpy, even on the lid. Come on, BH. I have a lot of favorites from you, but you need to pull through for me. It's like very like crusty in my inner corner and I really hate that. I'm gonna take a smaller equal tool sponge and just pat this out. Desert Oasis palette, beautiful for summer. Like these blues are really speaking to me. These two right here, very affordable as BH Cosmetics always is. These pigments are so beautiful. They blend on like a dream. It's just a really eye-catching palette. So we're gonna get to this. And I think I'm also gonna mix that in with the It's My Ray Ray from BH Cosmetics. Kind of like a full face palette. You have face powders down here and then we have the eyeshadows up here. So I think I'm gonna do a mix of the two, but something to match this dress because we got a lot of blues and greens in it. I'm gonna go in with the shade Sand, creamy shade right here. I'm just gonna lay that down with a fluffy, flattish brush. And I'm just gonna use this to brighten up the eye. And I'm not too worried about fallout because we haven't really done our face yet. And if we get some fallout underneath, we can just clean it on up with a makeup remover wipe before continuing on to the rest of our face. Using that same exact brush, this is a Morphe M433. I'm gonna hop into the shade Canyon, which is a beautiful, beautiful crease shade. And we're just gonna start to create some dimension in the eye. So I'm starting out on the outer corner and bringing that shade on in. And as always, I'm putting it a little higher than my actual crease because I do have hooded eyes. So I want this color to show and I'm almost almost bringing it up to the brow. JH37 and I'm gonna grab the shade Dune, which is a darker brown, a little bit darker, really hugging it like to the crease. And I'm kind of like bouncing it into that outer third. Like I'm laying down the shade almost before going and blending it out. I'm kind of just like pressing it and pushing it towards the inner tear duct. It's so versatile, this palette, it's nuts. You can use these four mattes for a more neutral look, but then you have so many shimmers to like play around with. This palette is like unbelievable. Now for blending purposes, I'm going to hop back in with that first brush that we used. I'm not putting any additional product on this, and I am just blending it out, like touching the shadow ever so slightly in little circular motions, and I'm just blending both of the colors together. Wow, this is like a beautiful base. I'm so happy with how this came out already. All right, so the eyeshadows are redeeming for the Scary Concealer and Foundation. I've known that I don't like this foundation, so it's not a big surprise. I did do a wear test, which was highly entertaining because you guys know it kind of is a little funny when I don't like a product. Um, I will link that up here if you guys wanna check out the full day wear test. I didn't like it, so you really don't even need to watch it, but if you wanted to, just a thought. Okay, I'm gonna go into the shade Sandstone, this other matte that's a little bit, has like an orangey 
reddish hue to it. I'm gonna take that on a tapered blending brush. This is a M575. I'm gonna grab that shade Sandstone and I'm gonna put that, I kinda wanna put that right where that outer third, that dark shade stops. So I'm kinda just laying this on the lid, like right here. This is such a pretty color. Oh, I can't. And I'm just tapping this over the lid, just tapping and pressing. And then I'm gonna bring what's ever left onto my brush onto that outer third of the eye. Definitely wanna go in with some blue. So I'm gonna grab this turquoise shade right here. I'm gonna grab that on a pencil brush and I am going to start this where that salmon-y color stop so I'm gonna put this right here and I'm kind of brushing it slightly over that salmon color so it blends nicely and I'm bringing it into the crease just a little bit oh my god the only thing is is when you're doing an eye like this you need to really pay attention to make sure you're getting the shade symmetrical because you're drawing like essentially I've kind of just been drawing lines all over the lid so you want to make sure your lines are similar to one another. I brought the blue in a little bit further so I need to bring it in a little bit more on this eye. Flat brush this is a JH41. I'm going to take the hot spring shade which is this even bluer shade and I'm going to put this after that other blue. Not bringing it to the inner tear duct I'm kind of just laying it right before the inner tear duct. And I'm blending it into the crease with that other one. And just patting, just patting. Like see how freaking pigmented these eyeshadows are. It's nuts. <sighs> okay, oh my God, I'm having so much fun right now. And look, I'm not even wetting my brush and look how freaking pigmented this eyeshadow is. Oh, Terrain, which is kind of like a champagne shade and I'm going to mix that with the mineral which is more of a pinkier shade so I'm going to mix these two and I'm going to put them in the inner corner. I'm going to take the shade heat haze because you know we're just like going for it at this point I feel like I'm going to take that with my finger and I'm just patting this. Yes, yes, all sorts of yes. I literally put like the smallest amount of this on my finger and I'm just tapping it Okay, I want to make that outer third a little bit darker and I want to keep it matte because the rest of the eye is so shimmery. So I'm going to take the shade Nightscape, which is this dark chocolate brown. This little pencil brush, this is a JH38, and I am going to keep this to the very, very outer third of the eye just to give some more dimension to the eye. And I'm pouncing this into the eyeball, the eyelid, I should say. My eyes look like popsicles. And I kind of love it. All right, I'm going to take that original brush that we went in with. Don't put any product on it. And I'm just going to blend out this outer third. So I'm just tapping it over this dark brown. Moonscape, which is this yellow shade right here. I'm going to take this on a lip brush. And I'm just going to put this underneath the brow bone. Makeup remover white, wrap it around my finger, and I'm just going to clean up underneath my eyes. Let that dry. Now my bags are back out and scarier than ever. BH Studio Pro Concealer. I want to make this a little bit friendlier for my eyes. I took about this much concealer on the back of my hand. I'm going to take a flick of my Belief Moisturizer, put that in a different location on my hand, rub that in, and then I'm going to take this concealer and rub it in to the moisturizer. We're gonna see what this does. Taking an Eco Tool sponge, I'm gonna take my concoction and I'm gonna blend this underneath the eye. Okay, wow, I like this. It's definitely a lot less chunky when mixed in with that moisturizer. You can do this with any of your concealers. Some will mix better with your moisturizers than others, but it's all like about playing around testing things out. So this is something that I like to do when my under eyes are very, very dry. So I'm gonna apply this wherever I need a little bit more coverage, which is down my nose, on my chin, anywhere you wanna bring forward. I'm gonna put a little bit up here, a little bit around my nose. 
pounces into the skin. Wow, I did not like this concealer at first, but mixed in with my moisturizer, I think that like saved the day. I'm gonna set my under eyes. We're going to contour our face a little bit. Nothing like too, too crazy. Um, and I'm gonna be using the It's My Ray Ray palette. I do wanna mention to you guys, they have a contour palette and a nude blush palette that I rant and rave about all the time. Those are at the Shore House, so I'm not going to be featuring them in this video today, but you guys know that I love it and I feel like I talk about them all the time. So I will link those down below in the mentions. Shade right here. Microfiber brush, this is a Mikasa F200. I'm gonna grab that mocha and we're just going to contour a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and bronze the face. I'm using this really fun Sephora Pro fan brush and my favorite bronzer from BH Cosmetics and my favorite bronzer at the moment across the board. It's an amazing bronzer. Brilliant bronzer in the shade Golden Gal. And I'm just using this to really bronze up the skin. Love this brush because it kind of just like bronzes the skin so fast because it's so big and it's just like so much surface area. My favorite brush that I own just because it feels so nice. I'm just going to go in with a blending brush because I can't find my contour brush. I'm going to go in with this and I'm just going to hit the sides of my nose. Now, uh, I'm gonna do this thing that I've been doing recently. I don't have a blush from BH Cosmetics, but I have a liquid lipstick that I've been using a lot, Karen. I use this as a blush more than I use it as a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna take the wand, put some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna put a dot here and a dot here. I'm just gonna pat this into the cheeks. If it will blend. God, don't tell me this won't blend over this foundation. All right, well, that was a fail. All the foundation has moved away from my face. Wow, I really, really hate, hate, hate this foundation. Taking my L'Oreal liquid foundation while trying to not freak out at how annoyed I am that that just happened. And I'm gonna just stamp this all over my cheek. I'm gonna take whatever left over on my fan brush and just bring some life back into that section. I should have never used it. I should have known from the beginning. I should have just trusted my instincts, but here we are. Golden shade right here. And I'm gonna grab some Mirage together. And I'm just gonna put that, yep, right here. Wow, uh, that is blinding. Okay, I think Utopia is a little too dark to put down my nose. So I'm gonna take some of the Mirage, my finger, and just dip this down my nose. A little bit on the cupid's bow. Wow, 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 on the chin. In my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Il Maquillage, this is their Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. While I think about what we're doing with underneath the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a lip liner on. I think I'm gonna use the shade Sandy. This is one of my favorite BH Cosmetics lip liners. Vanilla. This is a BH Cosmetics liquid linen lipstick. And these liquid lipsticks are pretty long lasting. They will definitely stay on for hours. And I love this shade. It's like the prettiest nude. This is the pencil brush that we use for that dark brown. I'm gonna hop into the shade Dune though. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer third of the eye. And I'm bringing it in. Oh, love it. Okay, now let's throw on some mascara. Should we make our lips a little bit poutier? Okay, and then we're done. This is the shade Karen that we tried to put on our cheeks and that was an epic fail. I'm just gonna put this in the middle of the lips. Blends down with the fingers. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look. I feel like it took a very long time to get here. We had a lot of trials and tribulations, which like has become honestly the theme of my channel i feel like lately we've just had so many issues with all of our makeup but i feel like i'm super happy at least with how the eyes came out the foundation as you guys saw i didn't really love if you use a good foundation one that doesn't you know react 
how this one reacted today, then I have honestly been loving that light liquid lipstick that we put in the center of our lips for blush. It's a beautiful blush color, very natural, kind of just gives you like a, I was in the sun flushed, really nice look. But I'm really happy with how the eyes came out. Again, if there is one thing that you get from this BH Cosmetics video, I highly recommend the Desert Oasis palette. It is a stunner. The shadows blend really beautifully and they also lay separately very beautifully super pigmented the shadows are so so buttery i love this and honestly this the brilliance bronzer whoa and the shape and define eyeshadow pencil are my favorite bh cosmetics products that i use on heavy rotation i literally use this bronzer almost every single day and this is by far my favorite eyebrow pencil i really hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that it wasn't a complete and total uh hot mess video as i anticipated being but if you did enjoy this video um i you simply feel bad for me that I struggled so much in this one. Then be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you and be sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a video here on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a great time as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.